This is a remake of one of the very first videos I ever made, a whole four years ago when the UK was in lockdown. Oh hey look, the thumbnail even has my old original penguin graphic I used for like two weeks before Duke Paints made the incredible one I used today. That video is now hugely out of date, so I wanted to revisit it and look at how the design and intention of toolboxes has changed throughout DBD's history. <laughs> At some point, the design intention behind items changed. We saw medkits get nerfed hard to the point of only having 24 charges each, enough for only 1.5 heals or one self-heal due to the 33% efficiency impact added to self-healing with a medkit. And we've more recently seen flashlights lose their killer-specific interactions, that is, light burning killers like the Wraith and destroying the hag's traps. But no item has gone through such a drastic alteration in its intended usage than toolboxes. Toolboxes are designed to do two things. One, increase generator repair speed, and two, enable the sabotaging of hooks. In the original version of the game, there was one toolbox, which had 130 charges and moderately increased repair speed. A moderate increase in repair speed meant plus 15%, and generators used to take 65 charges at launch, so you'd be able to repair exactly two generators 15% faster than your base speed of one charge per second. So those first two generators totally solo would take 56.52 seconds. In patch 1.1.2, we got these toolbox variants. Worn out tools with 80 charges, that is 1.23 gens, a moderate repair speed increase and a slight decrease in skill check success zones. The commodious toolbox with 180 charges, that is 2.77 gens, and a moderate repair speed increase. The mechanics toolbox with 80 charges, a considerable increase to repair speed, that is plus 20%, and a moderate decrease in sabotaging speed. Alex's toolbox with 130 charges, that is 2 gens, a slight increase in repair speed, that is 10%, but a moderate increase in sabotage speed. And finally, the engineer's toolbox with 80 charges and a tremendous increase in repair speed, that is plus 25%. So the idea behind toolboxes was that you'd take them to more or less passively increase generator repair speed throughout the trial. As the trial reached its conclusion, they would have pretty much been depleted, adding to the late game difficulty curve. Very few toolboxes would still be in play after the first couple of gens were done. At least, that was the idea. But in reality, you would often have all four survivors working on different gens, and thus the toolbox speed increases would apply evenly to all generators completed throughout the trial, hence me calling it pretty much a passive effect. Add-ons used to liberally add charges and repair speed. To use two examples, Wire Spool would add 30 charges, an extra 46.2% of a gen, and Socket Swivels would give a further moderate increase in repair speed. So with the Engineer's Toolbox, you could be repairing generators 40% faster for almost a gen and a half. Basically, until their nerf, Toolboxes allowed survivors to repair as much as one gen every 45 seconds solo for potentially the entire trial, or instantly. Because the original brand new part would instantly repair a generator when it was used. Unsurprisingly, the brand new part was the first thing to be properly nerfed. In patch 1.5.3, it was changed to cause skill checks to trigger once every two seconds. A good skill check would grant 5% total progression, whereas hitting a great would grant 10% total generator progression. In other words, you could repair a generator in just 20 seconds if you hit all of those great skill checks. It didn't take long to be nerfed even further. From 2.1.0 all the way up to 7.1.0, it would instead add 15% progression gradually over the course of five seconds and trigger two difficult skill checks which when hit would grant a further five percent bonus progression and here it would remain for five years until it was changed to what we know now removing 10 charges from the generator so it went from 100 percent to 100 percent over 20 seconds to 25 percent over five seconds to 11 percent instantly it's worth adding here that in patch 1.2.1 generators were nerfed to require 70 charges rather than 65 and that this would increase to 80 from patch 1.5.0 which means that the current brand new part just takes generators back to what the charge requirement was for almost five years. And brand new parts wouldn't be the only thing that was nerfed. It was decided at some point that toolboxes should not last the entire trial, but instead offer a short burst of increased repair speed. This, like the other item design changes mentioned at the start of the video, would decrease their overall impact on the game, but would offer survivors a new element of strategy in their usage. See, before, if you had a toolbox with charges left, you may as well have used it because it was likely that all gens would be done before it ever depleted. But now, toolboxes would deplete fast, meaning that the decision on when they should be utilized became an important one. Early in the trial could give your team a better start and thus a quick boost to morale, 
but what if it came down to you and one other survivor who was currently being chased? That's crunch time, where every second you can shave off a generator's repair time counts. So here's how the toolbox has changed. Worn out tools went from 80 charges to 16 charges, but a moderate increase in repair speed became 30% rather than 15%. The base toolbox went from 130 charges to 20 charges, and also gained that boost from 15% to 30% repair speed. It was given the additional effect of slightly increasing sabotage speed as well. The commodious toolbox went from 180 charges to 32 charges, also also gaining that boost to 30% repair speed. The mechanics toolbox went from 80 charges to 16 charges, and a considerable increase in repair speed went from 20% to 40%. It previously had a penalty of moderately decreasing sabotage speed, and this was changed to slightly decreasing sabotage speed, although this was still a 15% reduction because of the changes in values behind the qualitative phrases, so nothing was actually altered here. But I knew if I didn't mention it, people would be talking about it in the comments, so there you go. Alex's toolbox went from 130 charges to 24 charges, and went from moderately increasing sabotage speed to considerably increasing sabotage speed, that is from 15% to 25%. And finally, Engineer's Toolbox went from 80 charges to 16 charges, but its tremendous repair speed increase went from 25% to 50%. It was also given the ability to sabotage hooks at a moderately decreased speed. And that is more or less unchanged to what we have today. That was patch 3.6.0, which is almost four years old now. Crazy to think about as I remember when this first came in. In fact, it's mad to think that this channel is officially four years old as of yesterday at time of recording. The game already felt established and kind of old back then, and people were always talking about which asymmetrical game would come next to dethrone it. Many have tried back then, since then, but none have been successful. And I think it's Behaviour's commitment to regularly reviewing central game mechanics that have kept it alive and kicking to this day. These toolbox changes, while drastically altering the usefulness of toolboxes and being pretty controversial at the time, were the correct choices, and they were made at the correct time. No one can complains about them now. Most people don't even know that these changes happened, and everyone agrees that the current version of toolboxes are pretty reasonable. I think. I'm, I mainly play Survivor, but I don't care about toolboxes when I'm playing Killer, so... What are your thoughts on the way toolboxes developed over time? Were these nerfs a few steps too far, or do you think they should go even further? Let me know in the comments. As always, a big thank to my patrons, Nova Keck, Sylvan, Jinx Likes Magic, Live Value Card, and Channel Manager, yeah. Chipster878, along with YouTube members, Jinx Likes Magic again, Nova again, Howzy, Chipster878 again, and Meme Lord. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.